guys, how you doing? This is Fee, Diamond in the Rough. Uh, thank you for joining me. Now this is gonna, it's just going to be a short little whipping chat, but I thought I would uh, give you a look of how the geisha is going so far. So she is um, Royal Diamond Painting, 50 by 135 round. I'll make sure to put my hands in the right spot. Uh, I'm trying to slide this over my desk so that we can really see it. She's sparkly, she's pretty, that's, oops, hang on, sorry guys, that's a whole lot of 310, beautiful little detail on butterfly there, and yeah, I've just got basically, what's this, about a 30 by 40 to go, <laughs> or a 30 by 50 to go, so just a snack size section left. So this is just a quick little update and a hello and um, we'll say guys thank you for those who joined me on the live I did today. Uh, a couple of resin pieces worked. I'm just going to roll this and get this ready so I can start working on it. Uh, a couple of resin pieces worked uh, which were, <laughs> so I did some, basically some wax drill trays as in as in, um, here we go, this is how you treat a canvas when you're working on it and it's so long. Um, it's going to stay? Yep, hang on a sec. Okay, now I'm back. Um, what did I get done today? Uh, in the live port, I actually did these pieces. So these are cool, these are cool. One was a key ring. So these are still, there we go. So that's an open bezel keyring that uh, what I do when I do UV resin, I always put them on little trays like this and they sit on the windowsill. I come, oops. Now that's a drill tray or wax caddy. And there's a little peg that goes on this and it actually opens and closes. Sorry guys, I just uh, sneezed. Okay, so a little wax caddy and I do have the little peg that holds it together. Uh, and that can actually hold perhaps even trash drills. Okay. Yes, that is UV resin with leftover drills, which is there. I have another. So that'll be, so that's, these are cover minders. And that, if I show you another, where'd I put the other one? I have here. So there's two versions of that. That's one with clear resin with the um, drills in it. Let's see if we can camera. We'll show you the drills. Not leftover drills and that's just it standardly. Okay. Then there is this one that I also did and unfortunately we watched the magnet slide and this does peg together and open and close and that as a cover minder too. I also did a uh, little reindeer. So these are the bezels and what you can do with these, like what I've done with this one here, if you're playing with UV resin, I actually put, I attach this with root UV resin on the back and now that's a cover minder. So yeah, that was what I did today in today's live. Made a big mess, spilt resin, uh, um, and I, I actually need to sit back and watch and see what I did because, um, yeah, I made a mess. <laughs> so these guys, I put these on these trays because I still want them to have a bit more um, sunlight to them. I, UV resin, I'm never really happy with them until at least they've had 24 hours on the window still, which means they've had about eight hours sun. Um, so yeah, I'm about to get back into drilling. I, um, oh, for those that were at, were, were at the live last night, I did show you guys last night, I de-kitted. And because I have so many drills left over, I have so much in my backup supply. 
I de-kitted only three kits and this container is the drills, leftover drills out of three kits. Okay. That's a lot of drills. Have you ever actually de-kitted and just put them all in a pile and to see how many drills? It's hard to believe. This is leftover drills from three die moon. Yes, it was, yeah, it was only three die moons. So this was from scale. It was from the last custom I did, which I think was the cheetah. And also from Le Fay's Cafe de Lancey's. So that's, yeah, just the three. It's a lot of drills to be left over, isn't it? The question is, what do I do with them? That's another totally different kettle of fish. But as you can see, you can put them in resin pieces. Let's see if I can get that to zoom properly, to focus. It's focusing on my hand. There you go. There you go. There you can see the drills. You can actually see the clear resin as well, the edge of the resin where the drills have settled down. So yeah, if you're looking for something to use your resin with, yeah, yeah, good way to decorate and use them up. Um, so that's really it, just a little bit of a quick chat. This is a real quick one. I will slot in at the end here, more well, towards the end, about here. Um, I was sitting on the couch with Bo this afternoon and he looked comfortable. <laughs> so I wake him up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. You have such a hard life. Thank you. Thank you. Don't you? You have such a hard life. See? Hey Google, turn on living room light. See how much he bends, blends in. Hmm? You have a hard life, don't you? Yeah. Hey? How hard is your life? So bad. Have I woken you up and you're not happy with me? Is that what's going on? Hmm? Can go back to sleep. Hold up on the pillows. Don't you? Don't you? Look at you. Look at this. Look at this. How many pillows? Silky one, normal one, and an additional one. And where are you? Hiding in the corner. Bye bye. Wait. Wait. Not talking to me because I wake up. You're not talking to me because I wake up. <laughs> he was so comfortable so yeah I had to let him I couldn't let him sleep any longer so I woke him up uh, he was not happy with me at all um, so yeah I will leave that there uh, well, it's a very short one uh, enjoy the uh, I hope you enjoy the footage of Bo um, hit, thumbs up thumbs down leave me a comment Hit the subscribe button. Um, I'll get there eventually. And obviously, once you're subscribed, hit the bell, and then you'll be notified of any um, fresh little uploads that I do, like my short little whips, that uh, my short little chats, because I didn't even do any work. Just my short little chats, saying, "Hey, how you doing?" And uh, I'll say, "Bye for now."